Uh, this model kit review is of the uh, Arado AR234 and it is a 148 scale model by uh, Monogram and it's also part of the um, Pro Modeler series if you need more detail here's a picture of the finished model here are the colors needed and the dimensions another picture there we can do the reconnaissance or bomber version let's have a look inside this one's actually already been started so have a look at all our different parts here here's our fuselage which has got some recessed panel lines as well as rivet lines some surface detail there Have to look and see what our wheel wells look like. Uh, here's the uh, bomber version. I guess you can cover that up for the reconnaissance version. But uh, some surface detail there. Here is our uh, canopy glass. That's actually nicely molded. A lot of surface detail there. These look like our uh, jet engines. Really well molded actually. Here's the other side with the uh, ducts. Probably part of our exhaust. And we have our tail, wheel well covers, and some additional parts here and there. Here's some other glass. I'll have to have a look and see what these are for. Lots of little pieces here and there. And uh, we have a bulkhead, and we've got a lot of extra little pieces here, lots of detail. Here's the other uh, stabilizer, the tail, and our uh, engine covers, air intakes, exhaust areas, and looks like a uh, pretty part of our nose wheel landing gear. And here we have uh, some additional, this looks like probably uh, the um, nose covers for the wheel. And um, these are the other side of the uh, engine bay covers. We have little pieces here, probably for part of the cockpit. Lots of details, we even got some sprue. Here are the wings, they've already been glued together. Actually fairly well molded, some nice detail. Let's have a look at these parts. So these are the uh, wheel wells. Very nicely molded, a lot of detail. Here's our cockpit. Also a lot of detail there, nicely molded. Looks like we have some fuel tanks. Here are the air intake. Need some sanding. Here's the uh, bomb for the bomber version. Also needs a little bit of sanding there. There's a part of the uh, engines. Same with those. Let's have a look at our wheels. Good amount of detail on it, well molded. Need a little bit of uh, sanding and filler in there. This looks like this is the cap here for Probably the bombs. Interesting. And then the uh, parts for the engine. We've got decals here. Some nice details here on the decals. 
instrument panel parts there. That's all the parts. Let's have a look at our uh, instructions. There's the paints needed. So we start off with the uh, cockpit that's already been started. And that's been put into, put into the nose. And the main gear are put together. There's also, the, if you want to do the reconnaissance version, that's what all those extra pieces are for. I think I'd prefer the uh, bomber version. And then the uh, fuselage is put together. The main wing is put together. And then the engines are built. And those are attached to the wings, which remind the fuselage, tail pieces are put on. Uh, so those are actually rocket assists, that's what they're for. And it's got a little parachute on there so they can uh, drop those off. And in the nose wheel areas built, we've got um, fuel tanks and the bomb, if you want the bomber version. And decal guide and paint guide. And uh, there's the other side, fuselage underside. And looks like there's the, uh, another version. So all in all, excellent amount of detail for the cockpit, for the uh, wheel wells, it really makes for a good model.